As independent concerns, the railway companies in the interwar period of the 20th century were fierce rivals for traffic between major centres. But when it came to the many secondary services that crossed different company territories, cooperation rather than competition was mutually beneficial. This led to the development of quite varied workings that saw engines, and especially coaches, of different companies working routinely onto foreign lines. Our model of a Ramsgate to Birkenhead train in 1924 illustrates such a working, with a mixture of coaches from the Southern Railway and the Great Western providing the formation. The varied liveries on the coaches and the smartly turned out engine provide a genuinely attractive train. The formation for this model is derived from the Great Western programme of coach workings for 1924. This showed a typical mix of Southern and Great Western stock in use on the service, but the working instructions also revealed a very common practice of forming trains from shorter groups of carriages from different starting points that came together en route to form the complete train that we see in the Vale scene. This train started out as three separate portions, with the leading two coaches originating from Hastings via Brighton. These are followed by a two-coach set of Great Western design, working from Ramsgate via Margate and Canterbury West. The final three coaches, which are also of Great Western design and include a dining car, started from Deal and worked via Folkestone. The three portions came together at Red Hill, before being taken forward on the Southern Railway route to Reading and thence onto the Great Western Metals. Period photographs of secondary services of this nature proved to be elusive, and we have assembled a mixed train of pre-World War I carriages that we believe would be typical. The engine, a Great Western 440, number 3716, City of London, was a member of the famous City class of engines designed by G.J. Churchwood. Introduced in 1903 as a development of the Atbara class, an initial build of ten new engines was later supplemented by the conversion of a further ten Atbaras to provide a total class of 20 engines. These machines were arguably the ultimate development of the 440 tender engine on the Great Western Railway. However, such was the pace of locomotive development at Swindon before World War I that they were soon superseded by larger 460 engines of the Saint and Star classes and by the 1920s they were more typically found on secondary services of the type depicted here. Three stars of livery are evident in the train. The two leading vehicles, which are South Eastern and Chatham Railway designs, carry the first version of the fully lined green livery of the Southern Railway that had been introduced in 1923. Two of the Great Western coaches carry the rich red livery, known as Lake, with full lining in gold on the wooden panels that was used between 1913 and 1922. The remainder carry the complex chocolate and cream with black and gold panel lining and the company's garter crest, and that was introduced in 1922 and lasted until 1927. We hope you have enjoyed this short video. We have a lot more from Penton to share with you. Click on the link below to access some of our hidden gems, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel, which we update regularly.